Welcome back around here we can see my last made video I definitely bet you didn't know I was making a video at that time um, Yeah, today in the mail I got Mortal Kombat for the Vita I definitely cannot wait to play it uh, Yes, that's pretty much it for that <laughs> Okay, I want to talk, I mean just a little bit about Armored Core 5 Just to let you guys know um, that this game is came out and it's a really great game <laughs> And I've been playing Armored Core since the PlayStation 2 with Armored Core 2 with a really sluggish control, slow robots, pretty crappy graphics for that time, for that game. Um, even though this game is graphically also pretty crappy for this time and this generation, but I don't mind graphics that much. Um, the number one thing I loved about Armored Core compared to other robot games, uh, I just call them robot games, is that you can create your own robot. You have hundreds of different robot parts, arms, legs, um, head, shoulder, definitely a lot of guns. I mean, most of them are guns. And you can just, you know, spend an entire freaking day just creating your, your, your perfect robot or, well, you think it's a perfect robot. And it was a lot of fun of trying out different weapons, trying out upgraded weapons, and definitely the missiles. I love missiles, and in the Armored Core games, missiles are freaking awesome. And kind of weird, but I never played Armored Core uh, on the next generation. I don't have Armored Core 4, I don't have Armored Core for answers. I also heard and read that those games are pretty horrible. But when I saw the trailer that Armored Core 5 uh, was coming and that they actually made the robots smaller so they're more agile, more faster and that the entire game just plays more fluid and yes it does. This is definitely the best game in the entire Armored Core franchise. Um, it's fast paced, it's really fluid. Yes, when there are a lot of things going on screen it's a little bit, a little bit slow down and um, also if there's a lot of things on screen, a lot of people shooting at you um, it's kind of hard to see where the hell the enemy is but it, you know, it doesn't bug me that much I love Armored Core, um, I've been playing it for I think 12 hours I am level 23 because this time instead of doing missions and gaining new parts you have to actually do missions then you get team points because you have to make a team you get team points and you level up pretty much an experience bar uh, and i am level 23 i have no idea at which levels you gain more parts because the game doesn't say it kind of weird but it doesn't matter so i just do every 10 levels i check the shop when there's something new and most of the time there is something new so i think maybe every five levels or every 10 levels they add more parts uh, in the game so yeah this is actually the only thing i want to say about armored core um, in the description below there is my playstation network name if you have the game if you want to play online with me uh, hit me up on the playstation network also leave in the comments below have you ever played the armored core games what why am i doing this doesn't matter <laughs> Have you ever played the Armored Core games? Have you uh, played or, or do you have Armored Core 5? And what do you think of it compared to the older style Armored Core games? Do you like the new approach or not? Uh, definitely leave it in the comments below and I will see you next time.